I am here with an interesting case. This baby is a well-grown baby from a well-to-do family. The only complaint of the mother is that when the baby is passing feces, there are live flies flying from that. The mother is very sure that it is not that the flies are there sitting around the anus and uh, flying off when the feces is coming out. No. The mother is very sure that the flies are actually coming from inside the anus. Picture of what mother has brought is shown here. It's a very small creature, maybe less than 0.5 cm and dark in color. The diagnosis is obvious from the history itself. It is uh, scarabiasis. It's a small uh, dung beetle. Dung beetles have got the habit of rolling dung into a ball, which is a many a times big in size as compared to the uh, dung beetle, and then uh, lay egg on it and then roll it to an area where there is loose mud and then bury it there. The larva feeds on the undigested material available in the dung and grows. It's a common sight that these insects sit around the anus of cows or buffaloes waiting for the dung to come out. Humans are generally not accessible to them because uh, these beetles need the smell of feces to go in search of it. So if a baby's bottom is not properly cleaned and the baby is playing or sleeping or lying in floor without covering the bottom, that is a chance for this uh, beetle to go in. Entry of beetle into the anus could be facilitated by a lax finger, for example, following a diarrheal episode or in a severely malnourished child. And uh, theoretically, rectum, human rectum is empty until just before defecation. And that's what these gay people are making use of. So if the sphincter is lax and the rectum is empty, these beetles can go in and wait in the rectum for the feces to come in. And once the feces comes out, the beetle also comes out along with the feces and uh, some of them may fly off. And that's what uh, the mother has possibly seen. It's unlikely that the beetle has gone up into the descending colon or above because in that area, the feces is not having the consistency that the beetle needs for making balls. So it generally waits in the rectum and around that for the feces to come out. And once the feces comes out, it goes out along with the feces. So that means to get rid of this uh, beetle, you need just an ordinary enema. Nothing more than is needed and a colonoscopy is never indicated. Theoretically, if you give an insecticide enema, it can kill the beetle in the rectum, but we run the danger of harming the child because of mucous membrane absorption. It is actually not necessary to kill the beetle within the rectum because after all it is only just waiting there for the feces to come out. It is not uh, traversing our mucosa, it is not even clinging to our mucosa. The moment the feces comes, it comes out along with the feces. It is unlikely that uh, it will lay egg in the feces in the rectum and uh, it grows to maturity as an adult and flies out because it lays eggs in the feces only and the, that feces will come out. So it is very unlikely that it will become an adult in the rectum itself. It is also unlikely that uh, the child will ingest the egg and uh, the egg will grow into an adult and come out as a fly from the anus. Two reasons. One, uh, this. Uh, egg that is laid in the ball of feces is a reasonably big one, not a very uh, microscopic one. So it is unlikely to find its way into the food. But more important is that this egg is not designed as a natural thing to be spread through the oral cavity. So once it is ingested, it is not capable of withstanding the acidity, alkalinity and the enzymes of the gastrointestinal tract. Curiously, there are pictures and sculptures of uh, this dung beetle in uh, Egyptian uh, pyramid era. The pupa of this uh, beetle with its uh, wings and legs encased looks uh, something like a miniature mummy and suddenly the uh, live fly comes out of it. That must have actually triggered the uh, imagination of uh, the Egyptians of those times possibly. Now what can we do to prevent this? One is to have a tight-fitting cloth or an undercloth, whatever it is. Second, if the baby is using a potty, use a well-fitting potty so that 
the insects will not have a chance to go in to the potty and the smell of feces do not get out of the potty and uh, there should not be smell of the feces around that is the baby must be cleaned properly after defecation so that the beetle will not uh, find the smell of feces directing its way to the anus of the baby now this child has come from a city in a well to do family why is it so actually the other two cases that i have seen some 15 20 years back was also from the city only so it is possible that the beetle is running out of its habitat of uh, dung for example it is not able to find the dung so it is possibly looking for alternate sources of feces the book shown has got a description of uh, scarabiasis thank you for your time